Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our broadcast benefit service of morning prayer on Wednesday the 2nd of August 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. A song of God's glorious name. O Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes and that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained. What are mortals? That you should be mindful of them, mere human beings, that you should seek them out. You have made them little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen even the beasts, the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 34, starting at the first verse, is O taste and see that the Lord is gracious. O taste and see that the Lord is gracious. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look upon him and be radiant and your faces shall not be ashamed. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. This poor soul cried and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see what the, that the Lord is gracious. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, all you his holy ones, for those who fear him lack nothing. Lions may lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is there who delights in life and longs for days to enjoy good things? Keep your tongues from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, and to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. <coughs> the righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them out of all their trouble. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will save those who are crushed in spirit. O oh, taste and see 
that the Lord is gracious. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all will the Lord deliver. He keeps all their bones so that not one of them is broken. But evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants and will condemn none who seek refuge in him. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Send your holy angels to watch over us, O God, that on our lips will be found your truth and in our hearts your love, so we may ever taste your goodness in the land of the living. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, starting at the first verse. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time, while he was still confined in the court of the guard. Thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city and the houses of the kings of Judah that were torn down to make a defence against the siege ramps and before the sword. The Chaldeans are coming in to fight and to fill them with the dead bodies of all those whom I shall strike down in my anger and my wrath. For I have hidden my face from this city because of all their wickedness. I am going to bring it to re it recovery and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them as they were at first. I will cleanse them from all guilt of their sin against me and I will forgive all the guilt of their sin and rebellion against me. And this city shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and a glory before all the nations of the earth who shall hear it and of hear of all the good that I do then. They shall fear and tremble because of all the good and all the prosperity I provide for it. Thus says the Lord, in this place of which you say, it is a waste without human beings or animals, in the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, that are desolate without inhabitants, and human or animal, there shall once more be heard the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voices of those who sing as they bring thank offerings to the house of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. For I will restore the fortunes of the land as at first, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in this place that we waste without human beings or animals, in all its towns there shall again be pasture for shepherds resting their flocks. In the towns of the hill country, of the Shepherdah and of the Negev, in the land of Benjamin, Benjamin, the places around Jerusalem and in the towns of Judah, flocks shall again pass under the hands of the one who counts them, says the Lord. A song of the word of the Lord. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. My, neither are my, your ways my ways, says the Lord. 
For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Our second reading uh, this morning is from James chapter 3. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For all of us make many mistakes. Anyone who makes no mistakes is, in speaking is perfect, able to keep the whole body in check with a bridle. If we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we guide their whole bodies. Or look at ships. Though they are so large that it takes strong winds to drive them, yet they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great exploits. How great a forest is set ablaze by a small fire, and the tongue is a fire. The tongue is placed among our members as a world of iniquity. It stains the whole body, sets on fire the cycle of nature, and is itself set on fire by hell. For every species of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed, and has been tamed by the human species. But no one can tame the tongue, a restless evil, full of deadly poison. And when it was, when, and when, with it we bless the Lord and the Father, and with it we curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessings and cursings. My brothers and sisters, this ought not to be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same operate, opening? both fresh and brackish water? Can a fruit tree, my brothers and sisters, yield olives or a grapevine figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness born of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy, and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. You show mercy to our ancestors and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, 
born of the house of his servant Israel. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our neighbor, our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Gracious God, we come to you today, and ask for your blessing and love on all our tasks. We pray for this broken world, this damaged world, and we pray for the church and her daily life in their communities. We are asked today to pray for social services and all who work in the criminal and justice system. We pray equally for victims and the perpetrators of crime that the former be comforted and the latter come to see the errors of their ways. We pray for the work of the AIDS agencies throughout the world. And we pray especially today for those living in poverty or under oppression. And we're thinking especially today of the work of the Anglican Church in Poland and our thoughts dwell with the people of Ukraine as they try to rebuild lives so badly damaged in the war with Russia. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, we beseech you to direct, sanctify and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments, that through your most high and mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our morning prayer this morning. We'll be back with you this evening if you are available at six o'clock for night prayer and compliment. And I'll be with you again tomorrow morning, Thursday, for a service of morning prayer broadcast for the benefits at nine o'clock. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.